Hey everyone and welcome to Craig Duswalt's Rock Your Life TV series where we interview amazing business leaders and innovative entrepreneurs. I am your guest host, Dean Kane, and I'm sitting here today with our special guest, David Medansky. David, welcome to the show. Thank you, Dean. It's good to have you here. All right, I know what we're talking about. Don't look at me and don't judge me. We're talking about weight loss. Um, and uh, you are the weight loss guru, so let's talk about that. I'll let you explain to the people at home um, what, what you got going on. Well, as a result of my forthcoming book, there it is. Discover Your Thin Self. People will find out how to transform their bodies and their emotions to lose weight. Which is, okay, losing weight is a big thing. And you hear it all the time. You can watch TV all the time. You can see a million different shows. Uh, everyone's talking about that all the time. Um, clearly, there's a ton of competition yes. for that. So how, what, what makes you different than uh, these folks? Obviously, you're, you're thin, you're slim, you're in shape. And oh! Because this is what I look like. That was a year ago. That's, yeah, not even a year ago. Correct. That doesn't even look like the same guy. Holy smokes. That's what my wife said. She goes, I didn't realize you were that heavy. You are the same guy, though. Yes. I can see it. There's the face. There. Yes. Wow. All right. That's pretty amazing. So you've done it yourself. You've shown, you've, clearly you're the example. Yes. Um, which, is, which is pretty amazing. I was going to say to you, you know, why did you get into this? But well, now I, I know. I so, have a story. Okay, let's hear it. Why? In July... I went to see my doctor and he said, do you have a 95% risk for chance of a heart attack? 95, that's pretty, that's pretty heavy. So he says, you have a choice. You can lose weight or find a new doctor because I don't want you dying on my shift. Oof. So over the next four months, I lost over 50 pounds and more than 25% of my total body. Holy smokes. All right, now that's a lot. Of, some people will hear that from a doctor and just go, you know, you know what, I'm not gonna change or they won't do it. And they'll, I guess they'll die right. and have the heart attack. What is it that made you decide, oh, that's it, I'm, I'm, I'm doing this? Because you, you don't lose that much weight in that period of time without really being committed to it. Right, and I was fortunate, I went on what they call HCG, which is a female hormone, and I was on 550 calories a day. 550, I could, I could stay on lunch for 550 <laughs> calories. And so I did it for six weeks, and then I went on maintenance, and over maintenance I changed my whole approach to eating and learned new eating habits and became healthier. But I wasn't always heavy or fat. Most of my life, I was fit and trim. But like most people, life got in the way. Sure. Stopped regular exercise and started eating more junk food. And that's what had you slowly, slowly, slowly gain the weight. It crept up on me. And then your doctor told you, uh, do you mind asking how, me asking how old you are for, for when that happened? I'm going to be, I'm 62 right now. Ooh. Well, and you are fit and trim. <laughs> no question. So you... That's a very scary thing. You realize that, okay, you could go. Right. It tells you we have a 95% chance for a heart attack. You make the drastic steps. Now, you, you went on that, the, the, the hormone for a bit, and, right. and then that helped. But is that the key for longevity, or is it the way you eat? It's the way you eat. You have to do a life transformation. And so I'm looking for individuals who want to transform their lives, not just get a smaller waist. Because what happens is if you don't change your lifestyle, you gain the weight back. Oh, I'm sure. Of course, you hear the crash diet. Oh, I lost 15 pounds, and then boof! Right back on. Right. Uh, one of the reasons people don't do that and then stay with you know losing weight and stay thin and trim is because it's difficult. It seems to be so hard. Is it difficult? It is, and it's the hardest thing you're going to do. And I don't sugarcoat it. Um, but that's why I created. I was hoping you were going to tell me it was easy. No, if if there was a magic pill or lotion or a formula, everybody'd be thin, and there wouldn't be so many articles and books written about it. But I created this. Uh, inspiration and daily emergency pack of cards. Oh, the cards. Okay, I thought it was like, a, you're like, no pills, but these, I got these pills. No, no these are cards. But this way, if you're wanting to lose weight or maintain your weight and you want to indulge and you know you shouldn't, you pick out a card and you read it and it gives you motivation and focus. How many cards are there in here? There's 52. Just like a regular deck of cards. Exactly. Very, exactly. So you can shuffle them up and do the whole thing. Right, and then I changed my relationship with food also. So instead of looking at it as an enemy or something to avoid, I look at it as fuel and nutrition for my body. And also one of our greatest ability is the power to control our own thoughts. Sure. And so instead of eating ice cream, which I love, I'll have Who an apple. Who doesn't love ice cream? I am with that. I'll have an apple instead. Oh, it's a tough substitute. But if the choice is live or die, I'm gonna go with the apple. Exactly. And then I've heard some same people say, oh, there's nothing that tastes as good as skinny or things like that. I've heard sayings like that. I don't know. You don't, you, don't, you don't subscribe to that philosophy. No, and not one size fits all. So there's not one program for 
uh, that's going to work for everybody. What may work for me may not work for somebody else. So I tell people, you have to find what's going to work for you because it is a lifetime commitment. Yeah, well, you can't just do it for a little bit and then just go, okay, now I'm going to be off the wagon and eat all the ice cream every, every exactly. single day. Um, this, what does the book do out? The book is due out in a, probably about four or five months. It's in editing right now. Oh, so you've done the hard work. Yes. And let them do the, the let, let them take that fat thing and make it a little thinner. You see where I'm going with that? Yes. That makes good sense. All right. So, and, and obviously the way you distinguish yourself from other competitors is here you are. I mean, here's that guy and here you are. Um, is, is that part of the message that you make? You, it gives you credibility. There's no question. It gives you tremendous credibility. I've done it and I've spent hundreds and hundreds of hours doing research for material for the book. And I found out there's a lot of misconceptions out there and a lot of inaccurate information. And what my book is different is there's no special recipe, there's no exercises you have to do. It deals with the mental, emotional, and psychological aspects of weight loss. Well, and you know them because you've been through it. Exactly. A hundred percent. And how does your wife feel about that? Uh... Oh, she's all in favor. She loves it. Of course, my wife is very thin. She's between a size zero and a size two. Really? Yes. Wow. Does she recognize this guy? No, she didn't. She didn't know who that guy is. She, she looked at me and she goes, I never realized you were that heavy. And then she asked, she goes, when we were married, what did you weigh? I said, 190. And right now I'm 170. <laughs> All right, well, obviously when you do this, you go through some trial and error. You've probably made some mistakes doing that or maybe some other mistakes in life. Is there anything you could tell, share a story with our viewers, something that you, a mistake that you made and, and, and a way you learned from that to change things? Well, my first mistake was gaining the weight. The second mistake was not losing it sooner than I did. Well, you weren't even aware that you were in a position that you were a little bit too big for it. I mean, were you... Well, that's what the problem with most Americans right now, over 66% of us are overweight or obese. And the problem is we see other people, we look normal. We don't realize, so we're comfortable when we shouldn't be. Ah, do you buy into that, um, the body mass index? Does that make any sense to you? I, I don't buy into it because um, it's based on an outdated methodology, and uh -huh. it was never supposed to be what your ideal weight is. And even the creator of the body mass index said it wasn't supposed to be used that. So according to the charts, I'm supposed to be another 30 pounds lighter. Yeah, well. I don't think so. Yeah, I'm not buying that. And also, there's like athletes that I know that are, you know, shredded, just, just as shredded as can be, and, and, they, and they come up as obese on the thing. I'm like, dude, that dude is not obese. <laughs> exactly, not so obese. everybody's different. All right, any particular piece of advice that you've gotten in your lifetime that uh, applies to your life now um, or changed your life in any particular way other than lose the weight or die? Well, <laughs> the advice I give is be committed. Um, don't wait so long. Um, also, what you, if someone is um, watching, it's not what you do when they're watching, it's what you do when no one's watching. Ah, yeah, so, when you get up in the middle of the night and sneak in a little of this or a little of that or... Exactly, and it's okay if you have a setback. Don't beat yourself up. Just get back and keep doing what you're doing. It's small, um, continuous changes over a long period of time that make significant differences. And even though I lost my weight quickly, it doesn't mean anybody else has to do it. It's a gradual change. Just make lifestyle changes. And baby steps, a little bit at a time, and then it starts to add up. Consistency, I imagine, is very important. Exactly. And you, and you go through everything, the food, the mental state. The mental state, proportion control. Um, one of the tips in there is to use a blue plate. A Be blue plate? Blue is an appetite suppressant because most food isn't blue other than blueberries. And so red and yellow are appetite stimulants. That's why McDonald's, Burger King, Wendy's, all the fast food places have. I, I got a funny feeling we're going to see a lot more blue plates coming into play uh, as we go. And speaking of play, like my segue there, there's a game we like to play on the show. And if you wouldn't mind indulging us, it's a game we call Rockstar Rapid Response. And if sure. you would, uh, I ask you a series of questions, 11 questions. You give me one word answers. Never. No one's ever done one word answers. It's never, no one's ever made it all the way through. Anyway, um, but we'll give it a shot. We'll see what happens. You, your game to play? Yes. All right, good. We'll see if he does the one word answers. Here we go. David, who is your favorite band? Fleetwood Mac. Whew, good call. What's your favorite song? In Your Eyes. By? Peter Gabriel. Oh, yes. What's your favorite movie? Ben-Hur. Ooh, good one. Charlton Heston version? Yes. Nice call. Morning or night person? Morning. Were you always a morning person? No. That happened after you lost the weight? No. Dang it. 
I was trying to dig. Okay. Um, weird question. Where would you go if you were invisible? Casino. <laughs> Sorry. That's a great answer. That's fantastic. Uh, what is your favorite food? Chocolate. Really? Yes. That's coming. That's hysterical. That's amazing. Can you still eat chocolate and be thin? Yes. Yes. Um, I, don't, I don't really like chocolate. That's just for other people. That's yes for you out there. Uh, what is your biggest fear? Kryptonite. <laughs> I understand that one completely. Yes. Uh, what word do you love? Yes. What word do you hate? Diet. <laughs> oh, yes. So, okay. I, that you wouldn't call it a diet? It's a lifestyle, I imagine. Yes? Yes. Okay. On a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the coolest, how cool are you? Nine. Nine. Why, why nine? You're the 10. There we go. Another great answer. I like that. Lastly, if you could explain yourself in one word, what word would that be? Extraordinary. Extraordinary, extraordinary, well said. I agree. That's amazing to see you there and to see you here. And I'm glad you're here and not having a heart attack and 95% chance. Uh, if people want to get in touch with you uh, and buy your book and, 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 and learn how to, how to discover their thinner self, how do they do so? They can go to discoveryourthinnerself.com. There it is. And you go to that website and we'll talk to you soon. Uh, we're going to take a break and we're going to go to a commercial. David, cheers. Thank you, Dean. Well done.